So this is the latest um, delivery from the Personal Barber subscription service. I think this is the January-February box. I've opened it because I couldn't do it all one-handed. Uh, I haven't looked inside yet, so here we go. This is opening the box. Um, it's got the perfect shave instructions, pre-shave, post-shave, shave. shave. Um, it's very well wrapped. Um, so let's see what we've got inside. So, on this subscription, you got Dr. Botanical's Advanced Natural Moisturising Post Shave Balm. You've got Solid Cologne Viking. And then um, Susie Barner for men, Moringa and Citrus Shaving Cream. And a 10 pack of Persona Platinums, which actually I've been quite interested in on the basis that um, I've not used these blades before. So that's what I'm going to be using today in terms of the software. I'll be using the Feather DE with one of these Persona Platinums in. So here we go. Hi. Right, it's uh, the third video of my series. Um, I've got an interesting one today. Um, I had a, a bit of mail this morning from the uh, Personal Barber, which is a subscription service which I sort of got involved with. I think this is my third box and I thought, well, maybe I should sort of... Um, go into what I received today and I'm shaving with the products that I received today. So the first thing is I got um, 10, 10 blades um, just making sure that's focusing yeah 10 Persona Platinum blades um, I got um, a Moringa and Citrus shaving cream by Susie Barner um, so there's that and I got a Dr. Bot Botanicals Advanced Natural Moisturising Post Shave Balm for men for men so or men so I hope you can see that um, if you're wondering what I do my recordings on, I do it on a DJI Osmo Pocket. and It's got such a small screen, I can't see whether anything's in focus or not. But um, anyway, so uh, as I said I was going to do, I'm using my Feather DE Razor. I don't think it's that way around. Um, stainless steel. Nice weight to this, really like this. This was my third purchase. Um, uh, and I have to say it's one of my favourite razors. It's a very mild razor, just because it's stainless steel and it's by Feather and Feather do the sharpest blades in the world. The ASD2 is actually quite a mild razor. I'd put it in the same league as the Merca 34C and the uh, Edwin Jagger DE89. So um, I will be using my Q-Shave mug. Um, it's got some lovely hot water in it, so so here we go. First things first, wet the face a bit. Let's take my glasses off. And I'm going to use the Pro Razo for this. So it's pretty much my go-to pre-shave, this is. Um, because it just does such a good job. So I'll just brush that off. So that's pre shave on. this cream. It's quite a bit stuck to the lid so I'm going to put that in the bowl. 
Now this is definitely cream, it's, it's sort of, you know, it's, as you can see, it's very soft, so just putting a bit more in. It's got a really good citrusy smell, this. Really nice. Um, it seems I've gone a bit citrusy lately. I mean, I went citrusy last week. Um, I'm using uh, that, that different aftershave, uh, but as a sort of the aftershave balm, the aftershave today is going to be another citrus one, purely because of this uh, mail call from um, the personal barber. Um, I'm using, I haven't got many brushes, and I forgot to soak my badger brush, which I was supposed to be using today, so first mistake of the day. See how many I miss, how many mistakes I make. So I'm going back to the Yaki brush with the tuxedo knot, 28 mil, and uh, go from there. So I hope uh, everybody's had a good week. Um, it's been fairly interesting for me. I'm a bit busy, but um, you know, this and that. Um, I've been struggling a little bit with uh, with my back lately. I've actually got quite a few discs gone in my back, so it causes me quite a few issues. Um, but yeah, uh, rugby starting today, um, so that's a a, a positive get over all the political crap that's been going on which I don't think for one second it's over I think it's going to continue uh, but anyway that's, I don't like talking politics but uh, the good thing is Six Nations Rugby is on so anybody watching from another country that doesn't know about Six Nations Rugby which I think it's probably very few com countries now know about the rugby at least. Yeah, we have a basically a rugby competition that involves um, England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, France, and Italy. Um, oh, this smells so good. Um, and it lathers up really nice as well. So yeah, and it's the beginning of the Six Nations Championship, so it'll be going on for the next four to six, well, it'll be six weeks, I would think, six to eight weeks. But uh, yeah, I think Wales are actually playing while I'm having this shave. I really should be uh, supporting a home nation, but and I am Welsh, so. I should definitely be doing that, but I suddenly realised I had to get this shave done, so look at what I'm giving up for you lot. <laughs> right, that is lovely. That is really good. So on with the blade, with the sorry, with the razor, the feather razor with the Persano Platinum. So with the grown first. Now this has got a bit of a, an angle on this, um, it's, not, it's not the angle that I would normally shave with, it's more, more of an angle um, and that's particular to the feather razors, they, they, you have to use the razor at slightly different angles so it takes a little getting used to. Yeah, sorry about the lighting last video. It was, uh, as I say, the screen on this DJI Osmo Pocket is so small I couldn't see. And without my glasses, I definitely can't see. I mean, I can see I'm in the frame, but that's about, I've got this little pink blob in a screen. I can't even make out my nose or my eyes or my ears. My eyesight's that bad. So, um, yeah, I couldn't see those lines on, on the video. And of course, you can't redo a video of, you know, a shave video, so I had to bite the bullet and post it up. I did think about it, but I thought, no, 
you know, I thought about not posting it because of that, but I think you'll all understand we all make mistakes. So yeah, I hope you've uh, all had a good week and you <clears throat> enjoying your weekend. Um, I'm just trying to think what I've got for food tonight. It's something really simple. It's something like chicken pitters where I just put some herbs on some chicken breasts and then cook them in a little bit of, you know, just put a couple of teaspoons of oil in a non-stick pan and just basically butterfly the breasts and um, cook them off until they're done and then, you know, I put, obviously the, the, I've got some spices on them and then we just put them in some pizza breads with some salad so, and that's all we have. I usually have two of them. So, um, and then tomorrow I'm doing a, I'm doing whole chickens in Moroccan spices. So, and then roast them in the oven. So yeah, looking forward to that. We're gonna do couscous and courgettes or zucchini, as some people know them. <coughs> um, but yeah, looking forward to food. I, I, I'm not going to the pub tonight. I shall be going to the pub tomorrow. I usually only go on a Sunday, if at all. So, but I've got some nice German beers that I uh, ordered from a company called Beer Hawk. So, Paulana and Augustina and Spartan beers. Um, I remember I used to live in Germany. I lived in Germany, well, in Munich, in my early 20s, my late teens, early 20s. And I have to say, that was an amazing time. Because you're so close to the Alps. You can go skiing in the summer, there are glaciers there. Sölden is a, a glacier I used to ski on. Um, I think I've done the same mistake as I did last time I've gone what I would normally consider. I mean, it's difficult because my hairs grow down diagonal, so I mean, it, it's across the grain whichever way. So I, I, I found that the shave I had last week where I thought I'd made a mistake, which, you know, in general, I, it, I have made a mistake because I've gone that way. I should have gone against, against the grain. Um, it was actually a, a, just as good a shave as the old way, so I think I'm probably just going to stick with it. I just got into the habit of shaving the other way. So, right, the, the feather razor is it's. it's it's really expensive. I mean, I think they're about a hundred and anywhere. It depends which version of this you buy. I think I got the cheaper version. I didn't get the, the most expensive, which I think is about 200 quid online. Um, um, I think mine is anywhere between 120, 140 quid online. Uh, but I'd actually, I actually, got mine direct from Feather in Japan or, or a, a supplier in Japan anyway. And, uh, luckily I didn't get any, hit any import taxes. And I've gone years, I, I mean as I say, I, I started shaving about six or seven years ago. Um, and uh, I bought that in the first year. And I never, it, it never got caught by customs, so. Chuffed to bits, I paid, I'm pretty sure I paid about 80 quid, 85 pounds for it. 
and that was including postage so win-win but still it's more than I would normally spend or I thought I would normally spend I've recently bought two razors separately from one another one was the uh, Edwin Jagger uh, 316 which is an amazing razor and the other one was the Razor Rock uh, what's it called it's got a 0.84 blade uh, gap on it um, game changer so you won't be seeing those in my shaves for quite a while because I've got to get through all my other razors first so yeah This is so smooth. Almost too smooth. You know, you can hardly feel the blade. The slickness of this soap is excellent. <clears throat> I must admit, in my previous couple of deliveries from the personal barber, the, the show soaps have been good, don't get me wrong, they've been good, they, but they haven't had the slickness of this one. three passes done usual spots yep pick up video uh, pick up video pick up pass This way on my pickup pass. And this way. So that is properly against the grain that way on this side. Diagonal. And I always go, as I've said before, I've got a problem area here where the hair is growing all sorts of directions. Right, so same on this side going backwards. So there we are. I think that will be. with warm first and then cold. I use the Alamo, I find it's a really good one to indicate anywhere where I've possibly gone a bit too close, not got the technique. I've got the zero burn on this. None whatsoever. So that was a good shave. I mean, it, it does shave really close. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's a good close shave, so it's quite, I think it's certainly more efficient than the others, but it's, it feels like it's just as smooth. Um, drop my glasses. 
Um, the soap itself, really good. Really good. I'm, that's the most impressive soap I've had from the personal barber subscription so far. Uh, not that I'm saying the others were bad. Um, but um, I have to say, the su subscription I've got with them is the least frequent. I think it's every three months, something like that. Right, so it's not a monthly thing. Right, let's get this. Oh. And I'm going to be using my usual boots, boots, um, witch hazel and tea tree oil toner just to. Close some more pores, I guess. Again, no burn on this. So yeah, I mean the Feather AST2 is a very expensive razor, um, but it's also it's one that I you know if you've got the money, um, you know it's a nice razor to have. It's it's real quality. And that's one thing. It's precision, absolute precision, and the stainless steel and the weight to it. It's lovely razor. <coughs> Um, so yeah, if, you be, if you're starting out and you want something fairly mild that's going to give you a close shave but isn't going to, probably isn't going to nick you. Um, I mean, I, I usually shave with a feather blade in that, but I didn't really want to introduce those just yet. So, and, I, and because of the male core, um, I decided to use the bar, the, um, the club sort of personal barber box. It stuff what was in it to, to give it a bit of a review I have to say you get that you get the blades this I've got a solid cologne um, in a little tin about that long about that high but I mean I've still got the original one from the first delivery that I got so um, I have to say you know it's it, it I think it's 24 pound a delivery um, Oh, no, this is interesting. This is a clear liquid. I've never had a post shave balm that's a clear liquid before. Um, I usually use Nivea, the Nivea post shave balm. So this is very interesting. It's an oil. So, but no, no scent to it. No scent to it whatsoever. Feels good. See how fast it's soaking in. It's going in quite well. Right, I'm going to put the aftershave on. And I like this aftershave. I do. This is very nice. I oh, know I've got a bit of a sting on that, but I always do. With, with, you know, and it's general all over that is it's, but it's not it's a very very mild sting but I was expecting that and then the final as I always do the uh, Nivea men so I just feel that you know if you haven't tried it this way I recommend you give it a go and always finish with the Nivea men. Um, it just finishes the shave off for me. Um, I haven't shown you what I do with the beard oil, but so I'm going to do that this time. Um, what I do with this, it's the bulldog shaving oil. Oh, sorry, beard oil. I'm um, just going to put some drops, literally just a few, few drops on there. Out. 
and then all I do, I can see it's not quite square, I'll probably trim it up. But, but there you go, that's my third video. Um, I used the uh, personal barber subscription box that I got in the post, uh, which consisted of the, uh, put my glasses on again, the Persona Platinum Blue Blades, um, and the Moringa and Citrus Susie, B Susie Bana Shave Cream, which I have to say I was really impressed with that. Really impressed. Very nice. Um, Dr. Botanicals. Um, and I'm just checking because it said that advanced natural moisturizing post shave balm for men. For men. Um, and I have to say, it's the first time I've ever had an oil, which oil feels like an oil anyway, but it's done the job. So that's it. So uh, next week, I think I'm going to be doing my birthday sh birthday razor, birth razor, which is uh, a 1965 Gillette Slim adjustable. So um, that was the next one that I bought, and I got that quite cheap, I think, so I got a bargain on that, but there we are. Right, I hope to see you all next week, uh, and as is... As I think I've got into the habit of doing is saying goodbye with a razor in hand. See you next week.